iota b and z2 equal to c plus iota d where z1 and z2 are the complex numbers such that their mods are equal to 1 and also it is given to us that real part of the product of z1 and z2 conjugate is 0. Then we have to find mod of w1, mod of w2 and mod of w1 into w2 conjugate, right? Where w1 is given to be as a plus iota c and w2 is given to be as b plus iota d. So we need to find all these three values. Let's start with the solution. Okay, so it is given to us that z1 is equal to a plus iota b and z2 is equal to c plus iota d and their mods are equal to 1. Now since mod of z1 is equal to 1 implies z1 is equal to e the power iota theta 1 let's say where theta 1 is the argument of z1 right and for mod z2 equal to 1 we have z2 equal to e the power let's say iota theta 2 where theta 2 is the argument of z2. Now it is also given to us that real part of z1 into z2 bar is equal to 0. Let's use this. Real part of, okay, what is z1? It is e the power iota theta 1 into z2 bar becomes e the power negative iota theta 2. This is equal to 0, right? And then this implies real part of e the power taking iota outside. We are adding the powers here, theta 1 minus theta 2. So this is equal to 0. If you remember the Euler's formula that says that e the power iota is equal to cos of theta plus iota sine of theta. This is your Euler's formula. And I'm going to use this formula over here. So this becomes real part of cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 plus iota sine of theta 1 minus theta 2. So this implies real part of cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 plus iota sine of theta 1 minus theta 2 equal to 0. Now real part of this is cos of theta 1 minus theta 2, right? So this is equal to 0. This implies theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to when cos any angle is equal to 0, when that angle is equal to pi by 2. So theta 1 minus theta 2 is pi by 2 or theta 1 is equal to theta 2 plus pi by 2, right? Okay, now the first part. To find mod of W1, it is given to us that W1 is equal to A plus iota C, right? And this is equal to, now as it is given to us that, Z1 is equal to A plus iota B, right? And mod of Z1 equal to 1 implies Z1 is equal to E the power iota theta 1, right? So writing Z1 as A plus iota B equal to, applying the Alice formula over here again, that is cos of theta 1 plus iota sine of theta 1. So from here we get A to be as cos of theta 1, and b to be as sine of theta 1. So just putting the value over here. So using the value of a as cos of theta 1 plus iota. Similarly, for z2 equal to c plus iota d, we have mod z2 equal to 1. That implies z2 is equal to e the power iota theta 2. So this is c plus iota d equal to cos of theta 2 plus iota sine of theta 2, right? So from here we get c to be as cos of theta 2 and d to be as sine of theta 2. Using the value of c over here as cos of theta 2, right? This is further equal to cos of theta 1 plus iota, all right? I'm having from here theta 2 to be as theta 1 minus pi by 2. So writing here cos of theta 1 minus pi by 2. And cos of theta 1 minus pi by 2 is sine of theta 1. So we get W1 to be equal to cos of theta 1 plus iota sine of theta 1. 
because I need the value of mod of W1. So taking mod on both the sides, we get mod of W1 to be equal to mod of what is cos theta1 plus iota sine theta1? That is your Z1, right? So this is cos of theta1 plus iota sine of theta1 that is equal to A plus iota B that is Z1. And similarly, cos of theta2 plus iota sine of theta2 is Z2, right? So writing here mod of Z1. And it is given to us that mod of Z1 is equal to 1. So mod of W1 is equal to 1. Second part, to find mod of W2. Similarly, we can find this also. What is W2 given to us? It is B plus iota D. So writing the value of B, that is sine of theta 1 plus iota the value for d is sine of theta 2. This is sine of theta 1 and this is sine of theta 2. And we know that theta 1 is theta 2 plus pi by 2 plus iota sine of theta 2. And in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So this is cos of theta 2 plus iota sine of theta 2 and cos of theta 2 plus iota sine of theta 2 is z2, right? So, this is z2 because I need mod of w2. So, taking uh, mod on both the sides, we know that mod of z2 is equal to 1. It is given to us. So, mod of w2 is equal to 1. This is also equal to 1, right? Okay, now the third part, mod of W1, W2 conjugate, this is equal to, yes, mod of W1 into mod of W2 conjugate, that is equal to mod of W1 into, okay, mod of W2 conjugate is simply mod of W2. So, this is further equal to, just now we have calculated mod of W1 is equal to 1 and mod of W2 is equal to 1. So 1 into 1 that is equal to 1.